Good day learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about borders and shading. Now, when it comes to borders and shading, the typical questions that come up in the exam is for you to take a paragraph of text and to actually shade that paragraph in in a particular color or to apply some sort of border to the top and bottom or to the sides only of this paragraph of text. So we're going to look at a few options and see what we can do. In order to do this, the first thing we need to do is just actually highlight our text right you can see over here we have a number of options that come up but nothing that uh, we actually need here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the home tab we're going to go over to borders we're going to click on the little down arrow and we're going to go down to borders and shading now borders and shading has three different options for us it's got the borders tab the page border and shading okay so borders you'll see between border and page border the options are more or less the same I can choose a particular type of border so let's say for example I'm going to go with a 3d border then I can choose the style of the border I can also choose the color of the border and I can choose the width of the border now you can see as I'm choosing these four items what happens over here? I've got a preview section as to what it will look like. The nice thing about this is I can click on those particular lines and say, I, I don't want a border anymore. Or I can click on it and say, well, I only want borders on the left and right hand side. Do you see that? I only want borders on the top and bottom. That is how we do this. Once we've done that, I can apply this border to a specific text or a particular paragraph in my case I'm gonna say paragraph I'm gonna say okay and there you can see is my border that's applied to the top and bottom only so I'm gonna highlight that again I'm gonna go back to borders and shading and I'm gonna change that to the left and right only and there we go All right let's go back into borders and shading and this time I'm gonna to go to page border and you can see with page border Still the same. So this time I'm going to go with 3D again. I'm going to choose a style. I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to choose a width. But then, oh wait, something's different. I've got this little option at the bottom that says art, which means I can add an art or RT or artist type border. So let's go with some hearts. Feeling the love this morning. And there's our preview. And you can see again, guys, I can go and click on that. And I can choose to apply this page border. Please remember this is a page border now to the whole document, this section, the first page only, or all the pages in the document except the first. So let's go with first page only and let's click OK. And there I've got a border on top and at the bottom of my first page only. Granted, I only have one page, but that's beside the point. <laughs> OK, let's go back. Last thing. We've looked at borders. We've looked at page borders, right? The same principles apply there. Then we've got shading. So I've highlighted my text. Going to go with the full color. Uh, let's say, you know, some sort of orangey color over there. You can see there's my preview. Um, I can decide if I want like some sort of a pattern and what sort of color the pattern must be. And again, I can apply it to the paragraph or text and you can see this is very similar it's exactly the same actually as the options that I had in borders once I've selected what I want I click OK there you go guys I have added shading to my paragraph so guys this is how I've added a page border here on top I've added a paragraph border and I've brought in shading as well 